Hello folks, it's Gameplay Horizon here and welcome back to another Eternal Evolution episode. The game released successive new Terran heroes and I haven't touched the Terran soul mine for a very long time and maybe it's time to use the two Terran triple S assassins especially Dominic and maybe Pandemonium together with Rez and Miranda or maybe Daniel. I haven't changed my equipment yet after the summit arena and still I am using the majestic set for my assassins in which they are too good to defeat strong range heroes in PvE. Although it is also excellent to use Marauder set on assassins, maybe we need to change those perspectives because sometimes we need to balance the build of our heroes, especially the assassins for best results. Dominic here has 72% crit rate and 77% crit damage with 25k equipment attack using Majestic Set, and these Majestic Set gives up to plus 60% damage reduction, and the closer to this hero to the range attacker, the greater the damage reduction. The same with Dominic, Bailey Hudson here is using a Majestic Set also with 58% crit rate and 77% crit damage with 28k equipment attack. Soul Mine is different from the chapter scenario because enemies in the Soul Mine are not that tanky but have very high attacks and most enemies with high attacks are ranged heroes and assassin heroes. I will just use Light Gap for Pandemonium for faster ultimate skill to knock down enemies preventing them from casting skills. This Pandemonium is in HP main stats with damage reductions on substats at 104 equipment accuracy and if added with guild tech then it will be 150 plus accuracy. I will use Miranda as my support using a Herald set with 134 equipment accuracy so that she will have more chances to lower the attack of certain enemies on the battlefield. Since the game updated the Terra Dome, Sensaro Marsh and Disa Caves added by EX levels, we should also expect that these soul mines will be updated also later on, in which some essential items in the development of your heroes can be farmed here and the higher your level on the soul mine, the higher will be the rewards, or maybe there will be some passive rewards. But take note that these are only my predictions or opinions. In PvE, we don't really need to complete the 3 hero synergy on tanks, because those 20% stats buff are only for PvP, and Commander Abek is excellent on heroes with great shields and healing. In this case, Soulmine enemies have lower healing and HP compared to the normal chapter scenario mode and maybe I can use auto battle here in this kind of setup because my assassins here are very tanky in combination with Majestic Set and Phantom Cloak. The only thing that matters in the soul mine are the range heroes like Omar, Taylor, Natalus, Sorieta, and Xander because those range heroes can one hit any of your heroes using their ultimate skill that is why I use the majestic set. Enemy assassins can deal massive damage too, but they cannot one hit your heroes if you are using assassins because assassins can evade those attacks or can endure those attacks because of the phantom cloak. It is also viable to use Chaos Chip for Assassins if you are using Miranda because any unit affected by Miranda's shield can inherit the shielding effects even outside her shield dome. This Chaos Chip can increase the damage of Assassins by 40% when shielded. If you will check the HP of Assassins, they have almost full HP because the only main damage dealer enemy Omar was already defeated. In the Soul Mine, most levels ending in zero are too difficult to pass because the enemies are either assassins or range damage dealer heroes. We can check that on next stage at level 260. In this stage 260, we have here Xander and Taylor as the damage dealers plus we have here Liran that can stun heroes for 5 seconds and these enemies are so annoying. This time we cannot use auto battle and maybe chaos chip, Rez and Commander Gabal can be viable here and it is recommended to use Chaos Chip and Miranda in manual battle so that you can aim a designated area to cast the shield dome of Miranda that will cover assassin heroes. Even heroes are shielded, they cannot escape from the stun of Liran, plus the damage dealt by Xander and Taylor. 
If I was not using Majestic Set, then most probably, I cannot pass this stage because even Pandemonium with 4 million HP was defeated in a matter of seconds after the battle commences. Most of us are very impressed with Nord, but try to see this gameplay on Dominic in which I realize he is excellent in tandem with Rez. All I thought was Dominic is a mediocre hero, but with proper build, Dominic is a beast. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video about assassins and the majestic set in the Terran soul mine. The next stages after this stage can be auto battle using this lineup of heroes and maybe next time, I will use Rickert or the assassin team in the Terran soul mine or maybe in the major soul mine. My commentary ends here and the rest are the gameplay auto battle of soul mine level 261 and above. Until then, thank you. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Back a year ago